Welcome to the first episode of Jambar TV. I'm Brandon Brown. And I'm Rachel Gobeb. Today we'll be discussing campus renovations, Welcome Week activities, the upcoming football season, and much more. Bumpy roads and traffic cones have popped up around Youngstown State University's campus this semester. Our own Brianna Gleghorn gives us an inside look into the construction on Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue off of Youngstown State University's campus will look different when students come back for the fall semester due to the replacement of a water line. Replacing this water line is the first step of a larger three year long project. The Director of Public Works, Charles Shasho, says this project will be done in September. We are going to be doing a complete rehab of the roadway and uh, you know we don't want we don't want to have to be digging it back up in a year because the water line breaks. The roadway project is part of the, uh, of the Youngstown Build Grant. Uh, it's going to encompass about six roads through the downtown area. Fifth Avenue is just one of them. It's going to be a, get a very similar treatment that Wick Avenue got. Even with YSU students coming back August 19th, YSU Facilities Associate Vice President John Hyden doesn't expect heavy traffic. I don't think we're going to have huge backups from it because, I mean, ultimately Fifth Avenue is going to be is going to be down to one lane north, one lane south of Turn Lane, and a couple of uh, bus pull-offs. Fifth Avenue is going to look a whole lot nicer than it does now. Although the finish date is in September, the roadway won't be fully finished until late spring of 2020. We just want everybody to be patient um, and, and expect a great project when this is all over. I'm Brianna Gleghorn, Jambar TV. Home to music, fine arts, theater, and communication, Bliss Hall has a brand new look. Renovations were completed in the Cliff College of Creative Arts and Communication just in time for the new semester. The updates include new paint, brighter lighting, a student lounge complete with a vending machine and microwave, as well as updated security cameras for safety increases across campus. Faculty members and students of Cliff College say that the renovations make the building feel more welcoming and bring the college up to the standards of other buildings on campus. The renovations were announced to YSU students in an email in late July from the Executive Secretary of Cliff College. Youngstown State University President Jim Tressel gave his annual State of the University address on Wednesday, August 16th, where he emphasized recent university accomplishments, budgeting, the decrease in student enrollment, and the 2020 strategic planning initiatives. Later, President Tressel will join us in the studio for an exclusive sit-down interview to discuss the State of the University address and plans for the upcoming semester. Students searching for some physical activity while cramming for their semester exams should look no further. Youngstown State University's MOG Library has brought in fit desks as well as other renovations in the building. This new study and fitness tool allows students to read books or work on laptops while pedaling on a stationary bike. Fit desks are both for cycling enthusiasts and readers who just want to train their brain and their calves. Students no longer need to make a separate trip to the gym after browsing some of the library's extensive content. Currently, there are four fit desk bikes on the group study floor, but there are plans to add six more fit desks throughout the library. Many students at YSU are rejoicing in the recent opening of Chipotle. Announced in December 2018 by President Tressel, the opening of this chain counter service restaurant has been long anticipated. Open seven days a week from 10.45 a.m. to 10 p.m., this new dining option has already sparked interest in the community. The location now offers a Chipotle Lane, which allows customers to order online and pick up in the drive through lane. The restaurant is not currently accepting YSU meal plans, but hopes to have this feature soon. The brand new Chipotle is located on the corner of Wick and Lincoln Avenues next to Mercy Health, so be sure to check it out. There is speculation amongst the YSU student body that YSU's Inner Circle Pizza is no longer in business. As seen from the windows, the lights are turned off and the chairs are stacked on tables. A sign that on the door reads that the restaurant on Lincoln Avenue was closed for the summer, but as the semester begins, its doors have not yet opened. The phone line is also disconnected. The Jam Bar has reached out to Inner Circle numerous times with no response. Check back in with the Jam Bar at a later date for further information. From Student Board of Trustees and Honors College student leader to current YSU employee, Lexi Rager has excelled because of the opportunities offered to her as both a student and faculty member. 
She started her YSU education as a summer honors institute participant and said she soon fell in love with the people and atmosphere on campus, specifically those in the honors college. Rager has recently began working as the honors college recruitment and orientation manager. I do a little bit of everything in the honors college, so definitely a lot with um, prospective students. So hopefully funneling students from high school to YSU in the honors college. So some of that is like uh, prospect visits, so kind of building that for them, visiting here in honors, visiting with faculty. I have my hands on a little bit of everything, which I really enjoy. Uh, it keeps me very busy for sure. In a response to a campus-wide lockdown at YSU in December 2018, new safety precautions have been implemented on campus. Youngstown State University facilities have updated classroom doors to lock automatically when shut in hopes to make the campus community feel safer. Rachel talked to law enforcement and management about these security updates. Youngstown State University students returning for the fall semester will notice some upgrades to security. There was a report of an armed suspect on campus in December, which resulted in a lockdown. This prompted university administrators to increase safety measures on campus. After that incident, one of the first things that we realized was that the classroom doors didn't lock. Now, each classroom door automatically locks when shut. During the event of a lockdown, all someone needs to do is shut the door. If the door is closed, the door is locked. The only way that you can get the door open from the hallway side is to put a key in it, turn the key. The, the mechanism will be unlocked while the key is in it. As soon as you take the key out, the door returns to the locked position. As a result, faculty members were issued keys for each of their classrooms. Faculty, chairs, deans, facilities, and YSU police will have access to keys. There were also updates to the university's campus emergency management plan. Over the year, um, prior to the lockdown incident, we were revamping our emergency plans for campus. Um, we had one main campus emergency management plan for campus, which actually dictated, gave a broad overview of what the campus would do in the event of emergency. There are now different plans for each college and non-academic building. The plans can be found on YSU's website. Wagging tails and furry faces greeted Youngstown State University students and faculty at Puppy Palooza and Lamageddon, an effort to ease back to school stress during Welcome Week. Students had the opportunity to pet puppies, kittens, and llamas under the awning outside of the rec center. A senior finance student shared her experience attending the event. Alexa Coburn says she goes to Puppy Palooza every semester. It's like nice to like pet animals because they make you happier and then also like I live on campus so I don't really get to see my dog so it's easier for me to like transition and like pet a dog and be like okay I'm ready. A new grilled cheese restaurant is now open in Kilcally Center. Melt Lab is located in the hub next to Duncan. You can try their take on a classic grilled cheese with Texas toast to buffalo chicken grilled cheese. The shop also offers a vegan grilled cheese sandwich. It's open Monday through Friday from 10.30 a.m. until 3 p.m. Up next is our in-studio exclusive with President Tressel. Each week, our executive producer, Alyssa Weston, will have an interview segment where she talks about a weekly jam bar story with the source themselves. Hey, kid. You want to try some exercise? Wait, what? What's going on right now? Yeah, man. Exercise. I don't know. I don't know if I should even be talking to you right now. It's got lots of benefits. Mm. Okay. The benefits of exercise include increased levels of energy, higher quality of sleep, better muscle and bone strength, improved memory, and clearer skin. You're here to be part of something bigger. To make things happen. For you, college is about knowledge being shared learning experiences that aren't limited to the classroom. On campus, you want to matter. It's about engaging every day, building relationships with students, with mentors, with the community, in the heart of a reinvented city. We are that something bigger. We are Youngstown State University and proud. Indianapolis, the heart of hoops hysteria. And beginning in March, the home of the Horizon League Men's and Women's Basketball Championships. Eight teams look to reach the horizon 
and punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Semifinal action takes place Monday, March 9th, and Horizon League champions are crowned Tuesday, March 10th. Visit horizonleague.com for more information and to score your tickets today. You're not waiting to see what the world has in store for you. It's more about what you have in store for the world. All you need is the opportunity. All you need are the resources of a large university and the advantages of a personalized academic setting where you can experience new worlds in the arts and sciences, business and education and make them your own. We are where you shape your future. We are Youngstown State University and proud. Welcome back to Jambar TV. I'm Melissa Weston, and I'm joined with Youngstown State University's President, Jim Tressel. Um, thank you so much, President Tressel, for being here today. My pleasure. You are the very first interview wow. of Jambar TV, so it's an honor to have you here. Thank you. It's a milestone. Yes, yes. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your State of the University speech last mm -hmm. week. But before getting started with that, would you like to comment on the recent passing of former Youngstown Mayor Pat Ungaro? You know, Pat served our region both as mayor of Youngstown and then out in Liberty as a trustee for many, many years. He spent his whole professional life serving others. And, and I remember way back in the day when I was coaching here, he was always our biggest fan. And, and uh, I remember after our first national championship, he put on a big thing with the city parade and we had a big deal up at Beagley Center, and he did a little karaoke, and you know he was just always here for the people of the valley, and and he'll be sorely missed. Yes, he was very big part of Youngstown, and he definitely will be missed. So moving on to the State of the University speech, um, so a big emphasis of it was the board's new plan, take charge of our future. Can you briefly explain what this plan is? You know, I think the board, first and foremost, wants us to work extremely hard in, in being as efficient as we can and creating policies and procedures that are student-focused. Uh, many of the things like the utilization of technology, which is, this, you know, obviously what the student wants and so forth. So everything we can do to have our current uh, ability to serve our students better. And then taking charge of what are the futures what are the future job opportunities? What are the needs of society? What are the things that we can help get our students ready for so that their futures are bright and, and they're ready, you know, to handle this difficult world? And, and so it was just kind of the board saying, we know we're in the midst of strategic planning, but let's resolve to get really good at these things as we're doing that planning. Well, speaking of the future and the strategic plan, um, can you tell me a little bit about the 2020 strategic planning initiatives? Well, it's been fun. About the last year, we've had a lot of people on campus. We've had thought leaders come from other places talking about how one goes about strategic planning. <clears throat> we've had a lot of interaction uh, from students, from faculty, from staff, uh, a lot of data collection and so forth. Now with Provost Smith coming in new, He's really going to take all of what we've done and work extremely hard with the Academic Senate, Student Government Association, the faculty and staff to really head us in the direction uh, that we can't be all things to all people. We have to really find out what it is we're going to be good at, and, and Provost Smith is really going to, going to kind of lead that charge. So enrollment is down 3.21% this year. Um, why do you think that there is a slight decrease, and what can YSU do to retain current students and try to enroll more? Well, our demographics in Northeast Ohio, Western PA, have been slowly trickling down. And so the past few years, we always had 200 new beds opening. If you think back in 16, we had Edge 1, then 17, we had Edge 2, then 18, we had Enclave. Here in 19, we don't have any new beds opening, so we don't have more availability for students outside the area. So that probably cost us 200. Now, in the fall of 20, we'll have 350 new beds with 200 over at Campus Lofts and another 150 at Edge. So not adding another uh, housing facility, I think, hurt us by a couple hundred students. And then I think the unknown a little bit was the Lordstown effect. You know, we did lose some students who parents were transferred and they moved with their parents. They were current students and picked up and left. Uh, there are a lot of companies that counted on Lordstown, 
you know, for the supply chain and so forth. So we really went into the year not knowing what the effect might be, and it probably was an effect of 100 or more students, and that's how you end up getting, you know, to a 3%. Uh, but we've been fortunate. Over the last four years, we've been a little bit up, and everyone else in Northeast Ohio has either been down 20%, 12%, or 6%. So we've been fortunate. So being down 3%, getting some new housing for next year, we can raise it back up. I think we'll be fine. Um, what advice do you have for the new students here on campus as we're entering a new semester? Well, I think the exciting thing is, is they'll have a chance to meet a lot of new people and really select wisely because we always say, show me your friends, I'll show you your future, who you learn from, uh, people that have similar goals, that want to do extra things. The other thing I would say to students is, Get involved in things outside of the classroom. The classroom's critical, but I know thinking back a hundred years to when I was in college, the things I did outside of the classroom, uh, I probably used as much or more than anything I learned there. And then I guess lastly, I would tell them, really pay attention to your finances because it's an expensive time, but not as expensive as the next chapter of their life. So get used to being smart about your finances and and graduate in four years and, and go after every scholarship you possibly can, get a job on campus. Uh, if you'll do that, I think you'll have a great future. That's some great advice. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. Thanks, Alyssa. And after the, commer after the commercial break, we will be joined by Dom and Brandon, who will be giving us a weekly update on sports. The feeling when my hands are on the piano, it's become comforting. It's somewhere that I can express myself. I go to Youngstown State University and my passion is playing music. YSU is allowing me to take what I love and turn it into a career and do it every single day of my life. I'm Alyssa and I'm Y and Proud. Growing up, I love figuring out how things work, putting things together. I love being able to come up with an idea, design it, just the whole process of creating things. I go to school here at Youngstown State and my passion is 3D design. I chose YSU because all the equipment, the research being done here, it's like a playground for me. I'm Alex and I'm Y and Proud. The Penguin Club supports your Youngstown State student-athletes. Thanks to the Penguin Club, our student-athletes are given the chance to win a championship and, more importantly, earn a degree. Join the Penguin Club to support YSU and benefit from priority season tickets, game day parking, and access to hospitality suites. Be a part of the team behind the teams. Join the Penguin Club and make a difference. Call 330-9411-YSU or go to YSUsports.com for more information. Welcome back, everyone, to Jambar TV. I am Brandon Terlecki, along with Dom Joseph, bringing you Youngstown State sports news and updates. The Penguins open up their season at Samford University this Saturday. Let's send it over to Dom, who has more. Thank you very much, Brandon. You said it. The 2019 YSU football season is here. Our very own Nate Hawthorne visited Stambaugh Stadium to look in on the Penguins as they prepare for the 2019 season. Football is back in Youngstown. The Penguins kick off the 2019 season at Samford Saturday, August 24th. After a disappointing season last year, the team looks to bounce back. Make a statement. You know, last year we, we went 4-7 and seven and we're projected to finish 7th, I think, in conference. That's, that's, that's not us, you know. We want to make a statement and show that we're way better than that. Make a statement seems to be the overall team attitude this year. After last year's season, you know, we didn't really have the season we wanted. So this year it's all about making a statement, making, letting everybody know that we could come out and we could be the, the, the best team on the field every game we come out there. Last year, the Penguins went 4-7 and seven overall and 3-5 and five in the conference. 
Despite the woes of last year, they put on an impressive show at home by winning four of their six games at the Ice Castle. We're really excited. We're all really positive. Um, we got a lot of energy. I mean, I think you saw it today where everybody was out there. We were all talking, making plays, um, offense and defense both. And so the energy is, you know, at, I think it's higher. I've been here for five years now. I think it's a lot higher than it's been in the last couple of years. So we're, I think we're all excited. Another difference from last year to this year is the team's energy going into the season. I like how everyone's just close together. Um, offense and defense is just close together. Uh, there's no in-between. Last year was a little bit in-between, but we got that fixed during the offseason. We had a good offseason, so I like well, how we're going uh, heading into this year. The Penguins get to work at Samford August 24th. The game can be viewed on ESPN as well as 570 WKBN. The Penguins are striving to get back to where they were in 2016. Dom, how can the Gwyns get back to their winning ways after a disappointing season last year? Well, i got to tell you, Brandon, last year they started the season at home and lost to Butler 23-21, to and I think that kind of set the tone for how the season was going to go from there. So if they can get the win against Samford week one, I think they're going to be in good shape the rest of the season. Samford has lost Devlin Hodges. He was a yep. Walter Payton Award winner last year, so that's going to be in YSU's favor. So I think that's going to be good. Also, YSU has three home games right after Samford. So that is fantastic right. for YSU. So a disappointing season last year, but it's looking better this year. Absolutely. And a big fact to know coming into this game is YSU, since 1990, they're 192-16 overall when they're leading going into the fourth quarter. So it's, it's going to be big to be up front on top going into that fourth quarter, the most important quarter of the game. Absolutely. We're all looking forward to Saturday, that's for sure. Absolutely. That's all we we have for sports. I'm Brandon Twilecki along with Dom Joseph with anticipation for the upcoming football season. We'll take a look at similar excitement centered around Welcome Week, a new vintage clothing store, and we'll explain what Jambar TV is all about after the break. It's always out there. The horizon. A reminder that our greatest goals are rarely attained. And as soon as you reach one, another emerges. But every day we rise and work harder, dig deeper, ask one more question, take one more shot in relentless pursuit of our horizon. You're looking to your future, preparing for your goals, and they're closer than you think. Because here, success is part of the plan. It's a place where academic and social opportunities are meant to prepare you for life not just the next four years. You'll be equipped to face new challenges and turn hard work into a career. You're ready for your success to take root. And here's where it starts. We are Youngstown State University and proud. Founded in 1985, the Missouri Valley Football Conference has established a tradition of FCS football excellence. Competing at the highest level of NCAA Division I, student-athletes at its 10 institutions demonstrate character, passion, and integrity as they grow as a student, an athlete, and a citizen. The Missouri Valley Football Conference, where leaders are shaped and champions are forged. The environment in the hospital can be very intense for a patient. Being able to put a smile on their face brightens up my day. I go to Youngstown State University and my passion is nursing. What I love about studying nursing is that it takes you out of the classroom and into the lab. It's really hands-on. The professors here push you to be your absolute best, so if you want it, you gotta work hard for it. I am so excited about my future. I'm Shantiana and I am why I'm proud. This semester started with Welcome Week activities in full swing, with the, team, with the theme Here For It, connecting new and returning students to their Penguin pride. The festivities continue through Saturday, where students can relieve their stress and test their endurance in campus-wide activities and win some free prizes. I decided to get involved in Welcome Week because it's my favorite week in the whole year, honestly. It's just a bunch of fun. It gets first year students acclimated to campus and it gets returning students excited to come back to campus. Check out all the festivities around campus for Welcome Week. <laughs> for those that are tired of driving hours to find vintage clothing, vinyl records, or memorabilia, there's now a store within walking distance of YSU's campus. 
Mel's Habitat, a new vintage store on Elm Street, is full of all the odds and ends of vintage fashion, kitchenware, records, and everything in between that for a thrifter could be searching for. I have a background in what I'm doing here. I've done some of it in the past, so it made sense for me to try it here to see if I could add a little retail experience to the Elm Street corridor. And now we'll send it over to Jambar reporter Gabby Owens with a special segment on Jambar TV. Thanks, Rancho and Brandon. While the Jambar newspaper has been in print for 88 years at YSU, we are honored to introduce Jambar TV as the first student-produced news show at the university. A group of journalism and telecommunications students, along with their advisors, sought to create the first television news broadcast. Jambar reporter Amanda Jorant has more. Not only did Youngstown State University renovate the TV studio in Bliss Hall, but the development of a brand new Jambar TV newscast will be coming to the screens at Youngstown State University. What started as an idea for two journalism students soon turned into reality. With Jambar TV on record has YSU's first newscast. Jambar TV, staffed with journalism and telecommunications students and faculty members, will be airing a weekly Jambar TV newscast to feature community and campus news, arts and entertainment, interview segments, and sports content. And that's going to be imperative for this season. From local and national success of the Jambar newspaper, Rachel Gobep and Alyssa Weston knew it was time for a change after attending a national media conference in Louisville, Kentucky. Not only is this important to us as journalism students, the show. Um, it's important to the students because we want to gain the experience in all aspects of journalism, not just print, not just uh, TV, but kind of both if we can. From on-camera talent to technical operations, guidance from staff members played a role in the creation of Jambar TV. I led the design in that too. I kind of wanted it to look different than what the other stations here are doing. Um, I wanted to be as good as we can at our budget too. And, and this is what we came up with. My role was to just lead this part of the process. Students can operate cameras, manage audio boards, run teleprompter, and report on daily news coverage. We're trying to get all that experience for students what that you would get at a station in, into our facility here. That's really what, a, what it's about, a real world uh, working experience of gathering news, telling stories, stories, highlighting the great stuff we do here at, at our school, and um, this is really the way to, to do that to a mass audience. Jambar TV will be airing weekly newscasts every Friday at noon on the Jambar.com website and other social media platforms. With Jambar TV, I am Amanda Jorns. Thanks for tuning in to the first episode of Jambar TV. Remember to pick up a Jambar newspaper around campus and visit our website at thejambar.com for updates on all the news happening at YSU. We'll see you next week. The Penguin Club at Youngstown State provides the financial support that allows all YSU student athletes to succeed. As a Penguin Club member, you'll receive great benefits like priority season tickets, game day parking, and access to hospitality rooms. Thanks to the Penguin Club, our student athletes are given the chance to win a championship and more importantly, earn a degree. To join the Penguin Club, call 330-941-1YSU or go to ysusports.com for more information. NCAA Division I FCS football is a game of perseverance, integrity, passion, character, and sportsmanship. As he works to honor the game, every FCS student athlete grows in his responsibilities as a student and as a member of his campus and community. Dedicated to personal growth and success in the classroom, the NCAA Division I FCS, every down, every day. What? What's going on right now? Yeah, man. Exercise. I don't know. I don't know if I should even be talking to you right now. It's got lots of benefits. Mm. Okay. The benefits of exercise include increased levels of energy, higher quality of sleep, better muscle and bone strength, improved memory, and clearer skin. You're here to be part of something bigger. To make things happen. For you, college is about knowledge being shared, and learning experiences that aren't limited to the classroom. On campus, you want to matter. It's about engaging every day, building relationships with students, with mentors, with the community, 
in the heart of a reinvented city. We are that something bigger. We are Youngstown State University and proud.